Right, the golfing gods, they were kind yesterday. We had no breeze whatsoever, but they said you had it too easy. So uh, they're certainly going to make me pay today. It's picked up a bit in terms of breeze. We're on the Robert the Bruce course. Um, first tee, it's a par five. Now, point to mention, last two rounds I've played up here on the Ayrshire coast, I've managed to lose a ball off the first tee. So maybe third time lucky. I'm also going with three iron because both of those occasions, I had the big, big dog in me hand. Well, I want to lost it, but I might have put it in a bunker. Go! Well, the good news is we haven't lost the ball. The bad news is we're in a bunker. Literally pitch side of the green, but again, well, just the uh, same design attributes really as um, as the Ailes, of course, but on a sort of on an easier level, less severe if you like, more subtle. So the runoffs are just the same all around this green and the ones we've played, but like I said, not quite as severe and as uh, as demanding as what we've seen on Ailsa. Right, I was told that uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, new holes, new stretcher holes, and also where you get some unreal views. And I think it's fair to say that's a, uh, that's a fair old statement, wow. So we look back right over the course that we've played, which is all to the left there, the opening holes, back to the clubhouse. And then obviously you've got the, uh, the iconic lighthouse, Elsa Craig. And if you pan around that side, um, I'm assuming that's going to be, I don't know, 9 or 10 or whatever, but uh, then the new holes are going to play and then right over into the bay. Stunning, stunning um, tee position, elevated position. This is a par 5. We've got it a bit breezy, uh, and I can imagine on a clear and sunny day, Aaron is uh, barely visible at the moment. It uh, must be absolutely stunning. And now for some real links conditions. Right, so decent drive away uh, over the avoiding the bunker on the right and we've got uh well we're still not, i haven't got a yardage yet but 140 to center but all that is carry anything down in the dip is uh is goodbye lovely little golf hole though so let's get a yard and see how we get on right we're gonna be uh it's wind as well to gauge here this is Love this type of shot. I prefer it when I hit a good ball into the green, like. But that's right on the flag, but is the yard is right. Oh, sit, sit, sit. 
Well, you won't pick that up on that camera, but that literally was right on the flag, but again, aired on the side of course, just because uh, you don't want to be short. And I hit that right out the middle, to be honest with you. And uh, we're just held on the back end. What well, a great designed hole. Well, I can't tell you how good that golf hole is. Uh, I'm still referring to nine. I don't know what it plays on the stroke index. I didn't check that, but um, I don't think it'd be the easiest. And like I said, we've got a bit of a breeze downwind, which is helping in one sense. Uh, to get you far enough down to take your short right in, in but then as you can see um, and my ball has just held on at the back end incredible that's fantastic <laughs> there's a ridge right before the flag there that you've got to get over and uh I'm, I'm dry, I'm above ground, I've got me ball, I think they're all the positives. Still got, get over that brow, get over that brow, get over the brow. Oh, almost, almost really good. I think that's sort of, uh, I don't know, maybe seven out of 10. This is a hole that's, uh, you'll smile all the way down from tea to green, I tell you, beautiful. Are we going to get a big smile? Yeah, we are. Yep. Fantastic. What a golf hole. And from nowhere, the sun came out. The weather is uh, so strange here in Scotland in that it can change so quickly. We were in torrential downpours, you couldn't see a thing over there uh, about an hour ago. So make sure you uh, pack for all conditions, take no notice of any weather forecast because uh, all of a sudden you're in glorious sunshine. And to be fair, if you come and golf in Scotland, I think uh, you want a bit of breeze, you want a bit of rain as much as you want a bit of haggis and whiskey to be fair, otherwise you haven't had a proper Scottish experience. In terms of the course's defence, it, it changes. Um, so I think it's holes one to six, and then back into, uh, I don't know, about 13 or 14. It's all about gorse, heavy gorse. And then those holes in between, uh, the sort of seven stretch that's out on the coast, then you're exposed to obviously very much more exposed to the elements. There's a little bit more uh, width in terms of the fairways, maybe, but then, uh, or visually they appear that way. Uh, but then obviously you've got the rough, plenty of bunkering and like I said, uh, exposed to the elements, maybe just that little bit more as well. But all the same, it's, uh, it's, it's, so it's an ever-changing challenge. And then obviously the main uh, defence of uh, any Lynx course is, uh, is the weather. Quick mention about the greens, which have been in fantastic condition and uh, plenty quick enough in terms of their role. Um, but the other thing is the sort of uh, the complexity of each of these. They're fairly sizable, the greens, but there's so many runoffs. Uh, and this is a fairly small green, a short, um, fairly short hole rather. Um, but again, lots of runoffs. And unless you r land on the right plateau, then you've got a real problem in terms of a two putt. Big runoff at the front edge here. And then down this back end, it's another massive challenge because all of a sudden, like I said, you've come long and uh, the swing off here it's almost uh well, for a man of my caliber impossible to read so it looks like it goes high off the top swings down again well it doesn't swing down again it stays fairly straight when it reaches the top of the brow well hopefully uh this is a great green so you can see like i said just how many well imagine how many different pin positions they have but how difficult it is uh, to make a two put on some of these greens. King Robert the Bruce might have to play second fiddle to the mighty Elsa, and in many ways so it should, but don't dismiss this golf course, it really was an enjoyable 18 holes, 
and it really is a class act in its own right. shot in the yard is right sit yeah I've gone a little bit long it's definitely a worthy course in its own right uh, it's a it's a good challenge and uh, the views that you see it's interesting that you get the views of Ailsa Craig and that uh, infamous lighthouse on so many different uh, positions throughout the whole round it just adds to it and you walk up and uh, yeah put for birdie Galleries go wild and we all go on with a smile on our face.